What's up, y'all? Ali Shakur, Third Eye Jedi, back with another video. And today we're going to talk about why we need to stop supporting these damn slave movies. First point I want to make is I don't think it's a, a, a single black person roaming this American soil that can say they don't know about slavery and how gruesome it was and how dark that past is. So we do not need reminders. We've gotten enough of it through our educational system and through our family. We do not need reminders. Second point I want to make is our history does not start with slavery. Black history does not start with slavery. When are they going to put out movies about the Moors when the Moors were enslaving white people? When, when, the, when, when the Europeans were dying of famine? When the Europeans didn't want to bathe themselves because they thought it was ungodly and was catching disease. When they had nowhere to live, when they had no idea of farming. And the Moors went up there and taught them all of that. When the Moors were um, selling white women as slaves for their harems, as concubines. By the dozens, you would have one more that may own 12 white women. Why they don't make movies about that? Why do they want to make movies about our dark history, but not their dark history. You gotta understand the people making these movies are the ones in control of, of what we see. This is why we have to turn it off so we don't see those images. Where's the movie of King Mansa Musa, who's the richest man ever from Africa? King Mansa Musa, go look him up if you've never heard that name, he's the richest man ever. Ain't no Bill Gates. This is Mansa Musa, richest man ever. When are you gonna make that movie? Or when are they going to make the movie? You want to make slave movies? When are they going to make the movie about the Haitian slave rebellion? When they kicked all the Europeans off the island? When are they going to make the movie about Nat Turner? When he was going around killing all the slave masters? Where's that movie? Why they don't want to show you that? Why they don't want to show you movies of revolution? True revolution. Not subservient roles like you see in the butler. Yes, massa, no massa. Making it seem like that's the way to handle the situation. It's not the way to handle the situation. Or Nelson Mandela, before he went to jail, the man was uh, AKA a terrorist. He was going around and he was destroying municipal buildings because the Europeans came in and invaded South Africa and took over and was taking the land from the people whose originally it was their land. Then after he goes to jail, comes out, obviously he did a side deal with the Europeans because they put him in power right after and he was and he was preaching that peace nonsense, right? What needed to happen in South Africa was the same thing that needed to happen in Haiti. They needed to be a revolt, and he stopped the revolt. This is why they made a movie about Nelson Mandela, because once again, they want to portray this image of subservient roles. People trying to make peace with the people that aren't trying to make peace. People that just want to rule the land. These are subservient uh, movies being being uh, portrayed and, and blasted into our minds and our children's mind. Uh, look at the, 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 the TV show uh, Scandal. You got a black woman playing a side chick to the white president. Now, you know what that reminds me of? For you people that know, know a little bit of history, it reminds me of Thomas Jefferson and Sally Hemming. Thomas Jefferson had a slave side chick who he had many children by. This was a black slave, and she was his side chick. That's exactly what the girl on Scandal reminds me of. She's playing a side role, and people are going to say, oh, she's not a slave, so it's different, or she's in a, a position of power. At the end of the day, she's still a side chick to a, a European male. Once again, this is a subliminal message trying to make us uh, be okay with serving a subservient role. Look at uh, uh, Malcolm X, the movie Malcolm X. That had to be made by a black man, Spike Lee. They would have never made that movie. Uh, Michael Jackson wanted to make a movie that showed the kings and queens of Egypt and that beautiful history, and nobody wanted to back it, which is why he had to put out that music video that starred Iman and um, Eddie Murphy which was really a short film. He kind of had to go backdoor with it. 
Nobody wanted to support that film. They do not want you reminded of your beautiful, rich history. I'm not saying that I agree with the Moors enslaving Europeans because I think that's what got us in this mess in the first place. You know, that, 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 all that stuff is low vibrations. When you go see these movies and you see, uh, you know, people getting beaten and killed and, and enslaved, these are low vibrations. When you watch these movies, it make you want to cry and make you mad and make you sad. Those are low vibrations. When you go to the movies, you should, you should want to be, you know, you know, feel, feel something of joy, feel proud. Look at uh, all the nominations that they're giving these movies, like 12 Years a Slave. And then look at the movie, The Best Man, not nominated for nothing. What? I don't get that. How is that not a great movie? You got to, I mean, look at, um, it, this is a movie that put black people in, in high paying uh, roles in society. These people are authors in this movie. These people are, are attorneys, accountants, real black professionals. And, and the, the white critics blasted the movie and said it wasn't that good, but, you know, raved about 12 Years a Slave. Best Man Holiday was a great movie. Show black professionals, but they don't want you uh, gravitating towards that stuff. They want to make it seem like the Slaves movie is where it's at. That's not where it's at. We got to stop supporting these. Every time we go to these movies, we're giving money to the same people that's oppressing us. We got to start telling our children about our rich history. When you teach black history, don't start with Martin Luther King. Don't start with Malcolm X. Go back to the Lemurians or the Moors or, or, or the ancient Egyptians or the Dogon tribe. These are the people we got to tell our children about first. Not this slavery, low vibrational crap. We are more than that. We are kings and queens. Inside your DNA is everything that's ever happened to your race. Everything that's happened to your lineage is inside your DNA. So when you watch a movie that reminds you of your, your kingship or your royalty past, you are activating those DNA nodes. Then when you watch these slave movies, you're activating those slave DNA codes. Stop activating your slave DNA codes and start activating your king and queen stuff. Turn off the TV. Turn off these low vibration programs that are programming you. Ali Shakur, Third Eye Jedi. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I got plenty more coming. Peace.